Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Porky Steelbook released by Arrow Video. Just came out this week, brand new. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool looking steelbook in my opinion. Uh, the film's also available in a standard uh, Amore case with new artwork as well as this artwork on the other side of the sleeve. But this is the steelbook version that Arrow put out. And yeah, I think it's a really nice uh, uh, rendering of the original poster. Show you the spine. Got the Arrow Video logo there, and the title, and kind of the uh, what you call it, the, the tiled effect of the bathroom is kind of carried over onto the spine, and then onto the back also, with a little peephole there, with, <laughs> which is pretty cool and in keeping with the the, the tone of the movie. And of course, you've got the credits there. This is a nice matte finish on this. Feels really nice. I love that again. The front is just clean, no ratings. You know, just the title. Awesome. I love when a steelbook has just got a real clean cover with just the uh, just you know the poster or the the artwork, whatever it is, and no logos, no blue banners or anything like that. Just just the artwork, and it just looks brilliant. I think love this steelbook. Um, it also comes with you know the traditional paper slip. So much wool you could knit a sweater. Rated 18. I've taken this off already, obviously. Ah, uh, <laughs> lovely tagline there. Um, Limited edition steelbook packaging, um, obviously high definition transfer, uh, English subtitles, audio commentary by director and the writer of the film, Bob Clark. Porky's through the peephole, Bob Clark looks back at his box office sensation, of course this film was made for like $5 million back in the uh, early 80s and it made over $100 million, it was one, I think it was the fifth highest grossing film of 1982. Uh, so yeah, uh, Porky's trailer reel. Uh, skin classic, Mr. Skin celebrates Porky's in the heyday of the 80s teen sex comedy and a booklet featuring new writing on the film by Paul Krupp, creator of the uh, Canucksploitation website and a previously unpublished interview with director Bob Clark, conducted by Callum Waddell, illustrated with archival stills. Okay, it was 1981 the film came out, so it was a, I'm pretty sure it was the fifth highest grossing film of that year. Runtime is 98 minutes long. Aspect ratio is 185 to 1, 1.0 1 mono audio, and uh, yeah, all the normal stuff. This is Region B, and again, rated 18. So this film was kind of the precursor to films like American Pie and and so on, and yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, the easiest way to put it, and if you open it up and have a look, we have the, the disc here, which has got some cool artwork to it. Porky's there, nice neon. Uh, artwork there, which fits in with the interior artwork, which I think is very nice and simple. Porky's there. I really like that interior artwork. It's uh, understated, but works. And we have the uh, booklet again with the awesome tagline at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the booklet has. Um, the usual stuff, the, the cast and credits and some pictures from the film um, and some articles essays written about the film also Kim Cattrall who's in this movie this booklet isn't as thick as the usual Arrow booklets but the writing's a bit smaller so it crams in about as much as you usually get I think um, it's a kind of iconic image from the film there which is kind of uh, recreated here in this artwork So there you go, a uh, great little release from Arrow, and the Steelbook is uh, just brilliant. I really love this this Steelbook. It's not one of my favorite films of all time, but I just uh, I just really like the design, and I think it really came together really nicely. And uh, yeah, awesome edition. Just go uh, check it out if you can, and uh, I'll review, review this release and let you know what I think of the extras and the, the picture quality and everything like that, and the movie uh, in due course very soon. I'll bring you a full review of this, so uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. He says he's really cool, but I think he's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm sure he's a quite nice guy, really. <laughs> he's a quite nice guy, really.